What's up beautiful people, it's Indarama, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video from The Officer Tatum and it's titled Sonny Hustin breaks down on air over son being called the N-word on Florida Beach. Okay, I'm excited to hear what they've got to say on this one. Let's check it out. When I say that there are a lot of racists in this country, oh, I, I just experienced hope. my son walking down the beach being called the N-word several times. These people kill me. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. What shirt am I wearing? Vote Trump. We got some other cool ones out there. We got the Trump steamrolling one. We got uh, Vote Trump in the camo hoodie. We got the two Second Amendment one in the camo hoodie. Twenty percent off. Christ. Uh, what is it? King Jesus. You put in King Jesus, get 20% off the entire store. Make sure you get your merch. Like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and lay ties. Here we go again. He's stupid, crazy, nuts. I don't know what, if I was their husbands or their parents, I would be embarrassed. It's always this concept of racism that they always project out to the world. Listen, y'all, America is not a racist country. Even my 13-year-old son knows that. America is not a racist nation. There are still people that don't like other people. Uh, wake up. Exactly. It's, it's going to be like that forever. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be people that look at another man and say, man, that dude's shoe is bigger than mine. I'm mad at him. That man hair is slicked back in his jail. It, he used the expensive jail because I can't afford that type of jail. So now I'm mad at him. His wife booty is fatter than mine. I'm mad at him. How dare he worship God better than me? People going to be mad at people to the end of time. There are people that still believe because your skin is a certain color, whether it's black, white, orange, green, that they don't like you. Mm -hmm. And they put these stereotypes on you. But the vast majority of human beings oh, on planet yeah. Earth don't give a flying flip. Mm -hmm. People don't care. Simple. Nobody's. I don't experience racism on a day-to-day -day basis. I live around nothing but white people. All right. No, no, let me. Let me. And this woman right here, I'm going to always call her a waste of a face. She got a cute face. She little, so she's not that attractive. I don't like little girls. But she little, so her attractiveness goes down. But her face is good. And she is completely retarded. And so, therefore, her, her likability goes down because she got a cute face with a dumb brain. And then she's on a panel with a whole bunch of losers. But let me just play for you guys and, 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 and let you lose a few brain cells. Maybe with the comedy that I interject in here, you, you'll gain the brain cells back. But I'm going to let you lose a few brain cells just to listen to these nut jobs. Talk about racism in America. Just wrote a clip. There are yeah. a racist and people in this country. And there are yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast. Y'all are some of them. And let me tell you something real interesting. If you notice, see, this is why you can't. And I was just talking about her beauty. This is how you know beauty is, is, in, is made up. If you look at her hands and look at her face, you can tell that she's really pale and that she's putting tanner and stuff all on her face, which gives her good skin tone on her face, but her hands is pale as a ghost. And people think that the woman's got such beautiful skin. In reality, she she probably pale as a ghost. She take all that makeup off, she look like her daddy. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about looks. I'm just pointing it out because women be getting all caught up in the looks and people, even me, I'm thinking, oh, she been, and I looked at her hands and I'm like, oh yeah, I see it. She got a tanner on there to make it all look good, but it, it, she's probably pale as Casper the ghost. And there are yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast majority of people in this country. And I feel we like we, well, we don't know. We do know it's not the vast majority of people in this country. The FBI director said white supremacy is that the biggest is, that threat still to our country today. Well, that still doesn't mean that. That's now, if white supremacy was the biggest threat to our country today, what does that look like? Why then is the biggest leader of a murder of black men other black men? Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the people who kill, when you talk about race relations, black people kill white people twice as much as white kill blacks. So how is it manifesting if white supremacy is the biggest threat if black people are killing uh, black people more than anybody else by far, mm -hmm. like 96% of all black death is at the hands of other black people. When I say black death, I mean black murder. And then you talk about double. The FBI statistic was over 400 uh, people were killed. That black people kill whites and over 200 whites kill blacks. Where's white supremacy? So you know that's bull crap. The vast majority of people. I just don't believe that in my day-to-day -day life that the people that you're encountering harbor racist viewpoints. I do think that this division that if we're creating... If you look like me, you would believe differently. But you know what? Uh, uh... 
if you look like me. Oh, Jesus <laughs> She's stupid. You look mixed anyway. People probably think you're Italian. And then the thing about it is, let me just say this real quick. To be honest, in America, if you are black or you're the victim of the racial tension, which means that if white people were predominantly racist against blacks, other white people will probably know before black people do. Let me tell you why. You can't openly be racist in America like that. You can't. You get fired on your job. You know, all kind of stuff. You lose it all. But if you were a white person with another white person that's racist, they'll be able to say the N-word and talk all kind of crazy about black people behind closed doors. So actually, white people would know if, if the, the majority of white racists in America. Black people wouldn't know because they'll hide it. Roll the clip. What's up? It's the fact that these people don't even want to understand what reality is. Is it just only in America where people don't even like people? No. There are other places where people don't like people. Some people don't even like somebody for the, their head shape. Or some people don't even like somebody because they are more beautiful than them. It, it's not even about skin color. Or some people don't even like people for so, some filthiest reason. If you look like me, if you look like you, what's... Don't white, don't white people experience some certain level of racism? They do. But of course, it's always the victim mindset. I don't even understand when they're going to stop. Is America racist today? No, it isn't. Do we have racist people or people who are racist towards another? Yes, we do. But is it just only in America? No. There are places where they experience some level of racism that they you will not hear them talk about it. Not because people don't experience racism there, but because nobody freaking cares. I mean... Who freaking cares if somebody hates you on your skin, based on your skin color, or hates you for, for what not? They're not going to do anything about it. But of course, it's always going to be something about these particular people. If you look like me, then you're... What is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. The officer Tatum is right. Nobody talks about black and black crime. I mean... When the blacks are killing their blacks, are they killing their own fellow people because of their skin color or because their skin color look blacker than, their, than them? But nobody is talking about it. But it's always going to be something about their skin color. Okay, look at her skin color. If she didn't even tell me she is black, I wouldn't know that she is black. Or her skin color is looking some type of way. This mindset, victimhood, sells. And is in, only in America where you go to the market, you buy victimhood or racism and sell it for a higher price. And people will buy it. Just don't make sense. But yeah, let's go on. Roll the clip. Listen, the woman, the woman. So, but just to just She's understand, stupid. are we saying... She's stupid. Do we think the vast majority of Americans are racist? That's I, what I'm trying to... I, I, help I, me I understand. I think that there is a significant portion... Um, that are racist, and you can't dismiss my lived experience. I, know, I never yeah, would when say. I, yeah, I, don't, I would never. The lived experience. That's what they like to say. They like to say my lived experience, so they can lie to you, and you can't verify it. Your your lived experience. How do we? How how are you gonna give an anecdotal? This woman is giving an anecdotal experience, meaning my lived experience dictates the vast majority of what happens in America. That's completely stupid. You can't give an anecdotal experience and say that's the majority of the how America operates. And you can't neg neglect my anecdotal experience. Therefore, I'm right about the vast majority of the people in America because my anecdotal experience. Mm -hmm. Nutty. When I say that there are a lot of racists in this country, oh, I, I just experienced my son walking down the beach being called the N-word several times okay. in florida there is, there is, so don't like she oh, not like a mother. who called your son pull your phone out b pull your phone out and record i swear to god if there was a a, a, a lot of people just saying the n-word to your son you telling me you would not pull your phone out that would be a historic historical phenomena that in 2024 you got people just saying in, 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 in. He's an in. Look at that in. Look, I know his mama from the view. Look at that in, 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 in. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, if you walk down the beach, majority they're probably black. Are you saying it's coming from black or white? She just said just, just, just make up stuff. Where's the video evidence? Man, if I was walking somewhere and, and 
People were calling me the N-word. I'll pull my phone out. Oh, let me show the world what they doing. There's no video evidence. Your son didn't pull his phone out. There's no, nobody else pulled their phone out. Did you report this anywhere? Where did you say this anywhere except right now on The View? Because you're trying to make a point. Yeah, exactly. You can't say, I believe that the vast majority of people but, aren't racist. We but don't again, know. we, I, we okay, don't know that's that. Fair. There and are 300 million people in this country. Right. I would never minimize your lived experience any yeah. more than I would yeah. mine but, as but, an but Arab woman. Oh, that is, that's the Arab. <laughs> These people are so stupid. It's crazy to me. Now, she's been white this whole time, and now she's Arab. Exactly. These people go in their 23 and me and they look back over the history of their life and they got an Arab person 1,400 generations ago. And now it's my lived experience as an Arab. Lady, you won't pass this Arab nowhere because to be honest, your hands and your face are different colors. So you actually a lot more pale than you are with your makeup on. And this, this broad over here, and I call her broad, she don't deserve no respect. Look at her, she mixed race. And she just identifies black. People, if you were in Florida, people probably think you you are uh, uh, Cuban. Exactly. You black, you American black. Get the shut the front door. And your son, who who I think her husband is a black man, isn't he? She her, her, her husband better be black, or I'm gonna I'm gonna break my computer. I think Sonny Holson's husband is black, so her kid probably look a little more black than she do. He light skinned too. Get the. Is that her husband, bro? Yeah. Pull her son up. I need them on the camera. Her son look like he mixed. He looked Mexican. Mm -hmm. I need that picture. Her son looks Mexican. Let me just say this. That was the end of that clip. It gets stupider if you watch the rest of it. But regardless, man, these people don't even look black to black people. Uh, so, but, but let's do it like this. If you want to see if the majority of America is racist, then ask everybody on the, on the view panel. How many of y'all are racist? On? Nobody. So we are 100% we no racist on the panel. All right, in the audience, everybody that's cheering and talking, I'll let, how many of y'all are racist? Raise your hand. Not one person will say they're racist, raise your hand. How many people on production here at The View are racist? Raise your hand. <laughs> Nobody? 100% oh, of the people that work for The View are not racist. What are you saying? What are you even saying? I was walking down the street, and, and I had some people say the N-word to my son. Really? Raise your hand if you follow me on social media and you had somebody be racist to you. Raise your hand. If you had somebody be racist to you in, in, this, in, in 2024, raise your hand. I, I would argue that 99% of the people that, that are going to comment on here, have nobody's been racist towards them. I'm black. I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. Nothing but white folk. Not a single white person has been racist to me not one time since I've been out here. Not one person. I go to Starbucks. They treat me like they do anybody. I'm friendly with the girls. The girls at the Black Rock, they love me up there. Some of them follow me on social media, but the other ones, they know me up there. They like me. I'm nice to them. They nice to me. Some of them look like leftists. Some of them are like, who cares? Most people are gener generic, I mean, generally not feeling some type of way about you. It's exactly. only the stupid, ignorant fools that want to perpetuate stuff to, to remain as a victim for the rest of their life is the only one to say that. I want to hear her son testify and say, take a, take a lie to take the test and, and prove that somebody called you the N-word on the beach. And then she said, some people called the N-word. Who? White? You telling me you're on the beach in Miami, mm -hmm. you're in a beach in Florida and white people on the beach. You know how crazy... Listen, you know how crazy that sound? You go to you go to Florida and you on the beach, you're talking about a whole bunch of Cuban, black, you may have some white people on the beach. But then if you on the beach and, and you being a celebrity, because you make millions of dollars on a white man's show since there's racism, and, and, and people calling your son the N-word in front of everybody else, you telling me nobody said anything? Nobody had a problem? There's no other black people there? You telling me black people ain't, ain't finna throw the punches? Black people ain't finna get jiggy with it? When, they, when you got a group of white guys, I'm assuming she wants you to build an image in your mind that's a group of exactly. white boys calling her son the N-word. You telling me ain't no other brothers on the, on the, on the, uh, at the beach? There ain't no Latinas at the beach? Just white people. And then y'all the only black people walking through the, through the thing. And these white people so bold in 2024 that they going to say the N-word in front of everybody with all social media and cameras and everything going on. They finna say the N-word. That is the first time I would have seen a video like that in American history since I've been alive. I ain't not one time seen a video where multiple white people are just yelling N-word to black people just walking down the beach. You show me that video, I'll give you $1,000. I ain't never seen a video like that. I seen, show seen a video of black kids stomping a, a white kid till he died. I show you videos of black people doing violence all day long, 24 hours a day, assaulting white people just because they white. Y'all pressed to find 
a video where blatant open racism exists. And then what they do is they cut this video, like the security guard that was in, um, he was in a convenience store called the lady an N-word. She talking crazy to him. So now he a racist. She talking crazy to him. She called him the N-word. And then so he called it back to her. Now he a racist. And, 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 come on, shut up. I'm out of here, man. I'll see y'all. You see this problem? They just want people to believe some certain things or be, believe what not. You hear them come out to uh, cry, racism, what not, what not. Like, what in the name is that? In 2024, say the vast majority of people in America are racists. Now, that is a lie. I'm not even American. But that is a lie. Big freaking lie. In 2024. If you tell me this in the 70s. Well, no, fuck to go. In the 40s. Well, I may believe that. But 2024, the vast majority of Americans. Does she even know how many people are in America in 2024? Racists. Everything that happened, say lived experience. What freaking lived experience is she even talking about? For her skin color? Oh, look at her. Or let, if, even her son. You kidding me? Say the vast majority of people in America are racists. Nah, this is a big freaking lie. I can't even believe that people would buy into this in 2024. The, the kind of victimhood that lots of people really want to sell is crazy. And I don't even understand and I don't know when people would wake up from this. In America, that America today is a racist country. Nah. Does she even know what she's talking about? Can she even go travel to some other part of the world to leave the place where actual racism occurs or happens? That they don't even talk about. You don't even hear the people come out to talk about it because it's a normal thing to them. Where they have racism is a like. She's out here saying America. This is crazy. And I just don't understand. And I don't know when these people are going to stop. But yeah, I'm sure tons of people have got a friend opinion regarding this. And I really love your honest contribution to this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.